Hello everyone, Steve here and welcome to part two of my Outriders World Slayer playthrough. Let's go. I must remember to put on toxic lead. Shira, what happened? It's over. I thought the signal, the pods, the Hades whole plan, but... The anomaly destroys everything. I don't know how we survive this. There might still be a way. You! You traitor! You think we're gonna find out? Shira, what the hell? He's been sharing information with the insurgents, Lieutenant! No, I have to find... No, no, you don't understand! No, he can save us! Save what? Everything we've shared yeah. is gone. The piece of your bullshit missions. All your no. fucking highway! Man, that character is such a badass. Get up. Okay. Who the hell you been talking to? Salvador. Francisco Salvador. He's with the insurgents, but he's a scientist. We just shared data. And you didn't think to tell me you were talking to the other side? Listen to me. What he found, it could be an answer. But he disappeared before I got the final readings. Without those, this, uh, I don't... Salvador. If he's even still alive, where do I find him? He worked deep behind enemy lines in a place called Black Gulch. Black Gulch. You don't want to go looking for that place, Outrider. Why? What's there? An altered. All we know is they call him the Commander. Black Gulch is his. You won't come out of there alive. Yeah, well... Nobody's coming out of this alive if no one tries. Come on. Okay. Got a new mission, people. The Hedy knows a scientist who may have answers about these storms. We're looking for a place called Black Gulch. No, that place. I... I keep seeing it as shadows, ripping, shredding souls. This is an evil place, Outrider. But I may know a way to get you behind enemy lines unseen. There's an abandoned fishing village called Drift Water. I'll explain on the way. Yep, first things first. <clears throat> More devastation. The storms are out of control. The tier two, isn't it? I think. Yep. <clears throat> ah, place to stop one. Despair. We uh. can still save people. Place to stop two. <clears throat> there we go. <clears throat> Hopefully now I won't be running out of blotted rounds. I keep trying, but I can never outrun my visions. So this expansion is all about here at the north, by the looks of it. This okay. is bad, but what I've seen We're here. Drift waters up ahead. Okay, Tiago. What am I looking for? A boat. You'll need to find one at the harbor to get across the water. There, you should find a back way. Under the insurgents' walls. Looks like some old reports. 
Tiago, how do you know a way into this fortress? I was imprisoned there. Tortured beyond. Uh, I thought I was dead. But I managed to escape through the sewers and stole a boat. From here to the forest, and uh, I never looked back. The people who lived here in Driftwater, Tiago. Looking around for collectibles. Who were they? An ECA settlement before the war. There's nothing but ghosts here now. What happened to the villagers? There's a story of a night fisherman whose daughter would ring the harbor bell each dawn to call him home. But one night, insurgents came in the fog, and the fishermen slept right through. The entire village slaughtered. When the fishermen returned and saw, he tore into the soldiers. He didn't last long. The next day, a thick fog rolled in and a figure stopped through it with a long raincoat and bloody hook. The fisherman's ghost, driven mad by guilt, taking his revenge. The harbor bell tolled for each insurgent dead. They say you can hear the bell still tolling. Man, this place has seen better days. Here, then I'm guessing. Hmm. Grab you. A journal. For a very gloomy looking area, it's really well detailed and nicely done. I have to point that out. Looks really nice. I really hope this actually boosts sales and uh, player count because this game has, has no, so much potential. Interesting. It's a lot of fun to play. It really is. It's just the end game kind of kind of um, killed it a little bit, and the balancing and things, and the server issues and whatnot. But I really hope this can help actually help boost boost the sales and the player base, so they can actually turn this into a franchise. Because I've heard people can fly actually do want to eventually turn this into a franchise, and uh, it's definitely something I would love to see. Who doesn't want more outrods? I certainly do. So is this one of those areas where it's just like a crossing and there's no enemies? I've heard about this. Okay, well it seems it seems to be the case. Okay. So down there is where we need to go, I think. So I'm gonna explore around here quickly. Yep, like I said, this is a playthrough of a new piece of content so I'm going to be exploring
Anything in here? Nope. Came from nice stash there. So I'm doing all this searching around so you guys don't have to. No boats on this pier. Hmm. Looks like there's one over there, on that dry dock. And let me guess, all of a sudden, enemies. Now, exile, attack! What the hell? The uh, how do I, um, do this again? Ah, there we go. Fuck, man. understand this at all. I really wish I could fix the aiming <clears throat> on this game. I wonder. No, I can't get to a safe spot. <clears throat> So it looks like I'm bottlenecks here. <clears throat> Exiles, what the hell? The trap. Oh, if I can get here. <clears throat> so then I can't be sniped. Outrider. We can do that. Insurgents. The village is abandoned. It's a damn ambush.
I'm thinking for the sake of this series, I might drop the gear down. A few notches. So I've heard this content is brutal. Sniper boy still up there. Can I see him? No. over there. So I mean you got no room to move. Now just you, wherever you are. Okay. Whew, okay. To get to that boat on the dry dock. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, this uh, this ain't playing around, is it? I think for now, I'm going to just focus on health. Have I got a... ammo refill point here somewhere? Um, why can't I jump up here? Oh, oh, right. I'm gonna drop down the world here because oh, fuck it. <laughs> this 
not worth the hassle. I just want to have a nice, smooth time. I don't want to be dying every two fucking minutes. Because honestly, I don't, I don't think I'm, I'll be spending much time in this game before I've beaten it. Because I'll be playing, um, I'm still playing Wonder Wonderlands. It's quite, it's the most enjoyable game I've played all year. What do we have here? Really? You shot me through a slap? Okay. At least I can still get ascension levels, this is good. So I got a lot of gear when I um, claimed all those uh, rewards. Hello. So all the purples I'm automatically going to just get rid of. So I think that's new. Bonus firepower, core damage reduction, close range damage. It's not it's not an apocalyptic one though, so I'm not gonna keep it. <clears throat> That gives us the uh, those two tier three mods, which is nice. <clears throat> yeah, I think I'm going to wait until I've um, maxed up my ascension levels before I start messing around with the apocalypses. <clears throat> Get a, um, a more updated build going. I'm, uh, I just want to play the game. Just want to have some fun. Why put yourself through needless torture? <laughs> It's a wreck. Is that the fisherman? No. No, there's no way. That can't be some fisherman's ghost. I need to get a grip. Letting Tiago's stories get to my head. seeing something strange. A fog moving in over the river. There's a light in it. You need to leave this place. I'm starting to think you're right, Tiago. All right then, so I'm gonna cut that one there, make it an episode. So yeah, um, hopefully things will be a bit smoother from here on out. Um, I'm, I'm, I've dropped down the world here, so, or Apocalypse here, as it's now known. 
to give us time, give us a bit of an easier time through the game. And uh, yeah, join me in episode three, where we'll be playing more Outriders World Slayer. So until then, take care. And as always, I'll see you all later. Goodbye for now.